Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be putting the exhaust on and getting the car off for stands and uh, get it moving under its own power for the very first time. Let's get cracking. And sit down. Okay, so thank you very much for finding the channel. Um, I really appreciate you dropping by. Um, there's lots of things that we've done on the car now and there's only a few more mechanical things left to do until the next thing pops up. So we've got the exhaust all laid out, ready to go on. Um, I've got all the hardware for it. I think I've got all the hardware for it anyway. Um, so let's dive under the car. Let's get this thing on um, and see how it works. But let me show you how I collected the exhaust as well because obviously it's a big thing and um, as I'll show you in a second, it's in two pieces. So as you can see, um, I had to cut the exhaust in half to get it in the car because there's no way I've got a transit van or anything and I had to fit in this thing. So I had to cut it in half to get it together so I've got these clamps as well. So we'll see how this plans out. Anyway, let's get cracking. On each side you've got this um, fibre ring which is like a gasket and then you've got the plates that sits on top and then when you squeeze that together that crushes and creates the, the gasket seal. So you can see it's not quite sitting flush at the moment but that'll be squeezed nice and tight when that's on. So there's one of those on both sides. I've got to get that carrier through there and then the mounts will mount onto that cross frame there. get this on it's not sticking past this All right. I can't get that to get up because it's it's not quite square and I think that needs to be flush in order for it to crush down on the fiber thing Right, so this is a pain in the backside. So what I've had to do is, you see on that top one, I've had to modify this to actually get it to go on. It just wasn't seating, I couldn't get it over. So I just kind of had to give myself some space, which is fine. This is now on, the um, fibre gasket is on. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And then we can get this thing connected to that thing. Oh. I thought it was cold, it's actually starting to snow. Can you see that? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Told you it was cold. Right, so I finally got both of these on now. And I've got the thing on that one, but it keeps slipping off this one. So I've stuck it in the top of these, so I need to bring these forward, get them up, get the bolts on, and then if you look outside, it is snowing, and I think I've had enough of the weather. So I'm gonna get this on and then stop. Got one on, need to get <laughs> Oh my God, this is a nightmare. side on. Ah, finally, not that you can see anything. There you go, so finally I've got both of them connected. God, that's an effort. 
this would be so much easier in a garage with a lift and all the right tools and stuff to it's difficult climbing under a car to do this don't recommend it anyway so that's all on now oh jeez here's the gopro so i can stop moving down that end so i can now move down that end stop putting the back box on but that that is for another day because this is bloody miserable so i, I might be back out tomorrow all right <coughs> it's way too cold you can see my breath can't you um i'm gonna finish this tomorrow hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer tomorrow and hopefully it's not gonna snow me so i'm not gonna get wet either but, but i think that's a difficult part done um so tomorrow i will get hopefully get the back boxes on get the car down <laughs> and get it moving under its own power which would be cool It'd be nice to get it off the stands anyway um i'll see you tomorrow so it's another day I was planning to jump out and do some more on the car, but then this happened. And it's absolutely bloody freezing, so it can wait. Okay, it's actually tomorrow, it's another day. The snow has now disappeared. It feels a little bit more um, human outside, so um, I don't have much time. I'm going to put the brackets on that holds the, uh, the rear boxes. And then I'm going to have to call it quits and come out another day because I've only got like, a short amount of time for lunch. I want to get that done and then the next time I come out I'll get the exhaust on and we'll drop the car. Fingers crossed. Okay, so that's both the brackets on now. On the rear left, so I just need to repeat the same on that side and then we can think about throwing some exhaust in. But that's cool, so this is um, pretty straightforward actually. And here's the pipe for the, oh, you can't see it. Here's the pipe for the, um, <clears throat> exhaust valve but obviously that looks a bit torn so I might just have to trim that up or clamp it shut I don't know we'll see if it works so we've got all of them on now and we've got loads of room on that side to get the rubber on but on this side it's all a little bit tight so I need to go and have a look because that doesn't feel right to me the, the case is out of the way, isn't it? I don't know. Okay, so just throwing the um, just throwing the rubbers on. Now I think I'm going to try and fish my exhaust through this gap. Let's see whether I can get this one connected. Because that'd be cool. Okay, so I think there's no two ways around it. This has got to come off. <sighs> now we can do it. So that's how they'll sit. I'm going to put some assembly paste on. I can't do it today, I've run out of time. I need to run back inside, so I'll put some assembly paste on. Put them in. I'm just going to throw that rear cover on uh, quickly and then call it a day. got exhaust on it. <laughs> yes. Right, so the only thing I've got left to do is I need to, where I've put the joins on there, I need to just put some assembly paste, uh, push them up and then clamp them together. And then that is all done. Right, it's Friday now, another day in paradise. Let's get this beast bound up. Off his stance. So 
So she is down on the ground and she is looking good. That's going to settle, I think. Probably not that one because that's been loaded, but these will settle. <laughs> Car is down off its um, stands, and if I look at the uh, check control, I've only got the fuel reserve and the tyre initialisation. So one thing I need to do is check the oil level, um, which you need to start the engine for. Um, so <clears throat> I've got the exhaust on, I've got the uh, vacuum lines connected. Let's press the button and see what happens. Foot on the brake. 